Your CB ball ties all the fundamentals together. All of those links in your game, they need to be strong and they need to tie together to be a good circle maker. So when you use your CB ball, that's what it's gonna do. It defragments your swing. It takes all those parts out and makes it one continuous motion and that's what you should feel. So take your time with the ball. Don't swing it really fast. Be sure that you adjust it correctly. And always start with the ball out in front of you like this very much like a baseball swing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna initiate it by taking your right shoulder and your right hip back, just twisting them back very much like that John Duncan Dunn drill, see? It has to go back 90 degrees. And then as you come forward, you have to always come forward and face this way with your shoulders at a 90 degrees because the ball's not gonna work if you don't have that nice circular motion with your shoulders. And then just let it flow. So starting back, twisting, coming around and twisting. Now you see it, it's just touching me right below my shoulders, right at the top of my upper arms. Also, what I like to do with this is kind of pick my toe up a little bit on each side. You'll see how my toe's coming up. What that do, it, what's that doing is it's just helping me to get the shoulders back 90 degrees to have that nice twisting motion. And then what you simply do is then you bow down lower and lower to where you're making your golf swing. And of course, you'll feel that posture. If you don't have that good posture, then the ball's not going to finish in the right position on both sides. Another good drill to do with this is to do it just one-handed. Just to start out with one hand, just twist the shoulder back and twist it through. And this is where you're going to really feel how that ball swings all the way around and all the way around. And then do it with the left hand. Just let your body flow. Let the knees flow where it goes because you want to feel that continuous swinging motion. And I can guarantee you if the ball is hitting you right below your shoulder on both sides that you're getting the circular motion. You're developing that circular swing and your wrists are setting correctly and it's building that feel in there that you want to have so that you can trust it when you go out onto the golf course. A couple things to think about when you're swinging and you're working out with the ball. Number one is you're going to find that if you have a real firm grip, the ball's not going to react very well. So you want to keep a light grip, keep your arms nice and loose when you back, go back and you swing and you'll see it will function very, very well. The other thing, if you don't make a good 90 degree shoulder turn going back, you're going to short change yourself and the ball's going to hit you in the lower back. That's a good sign that you need to work on these practice exercises like the John Duncan Dunn. Also, if you don't finish all the way around, if you stop, it's going to hit you in the lower back on the forward swing. That's going to give you the, the feeling that you should go ahead and work on this forward swing, turning all the way through as you come through the ball. Also, when you're swinging it, if you don't swing out to the right and up, you come around, the ball will have a tendency to come around, wrap around your neck. So you always want to have this CB ball swinging a little bit out to the right when you come through. Out to the right and then under, see? Just like we did that practice exercise, like this, out to the right and up. Out to the right and up. And you're going to develop those feelings that you can really take and trust. So if I want to make it a little longer, now what I'm going to do is unscrew the cap And then I'm just going to pull it out a little bit, nice and easily, to make it a little bit longer. And then I just simply screw it back on and I'm ready to go. If I want to make it shorter, then I have to pinch it a little bit, twist it and turn it. And you can see how it feeds right back in. Then I simply screw the cap on and I'm ready to go. This is the tool that's going to train you to be a wonderful circle maker. So you can go out on the golf course and have that continuous swinging motion, seeing that circle, feeling that circle, and then swinging it. And you're going to become a great circle maker.